They say a dog is for life and not just for Christmas, but many of these were abandoned just after Boxing Day. We tend to see that after Christmas, more people may be in financial difficulty. Um, that problem is compounded at this time of year. We also see more dogs that have potentially struggled a little bit with the busyness of the Christmas period and then an owner isn't coping. More people going back to work, for example. Um, more people struggling with things like vet fees and behaviour problems this time of year. Many dogs land on the doorstep as strays. Staff at Hope Rescue always try to reunite them with their owners, but more and more, they're never claimed, leading them to believe many are fake strays. Fake stray is a dog who has been bought in by somebody who claims that they have found the dog straying when actually they either are the owner or they know the owner. Rescues are very busy at the moment, we're all under a huge amount of pressure, so a lot have waiting lists. But when a dog is found straying, there is a responsibility for the local authority to find that dog a space. So if we do have a stray come into us, we are obliged to take it. Often the dogs they do take have a raft of health or behavioural issues. Misty here was brought in as a stray just before Christmas. She's got problems with her eyes and her teeth that have been left untreated for so long that they're now causing her lots of pain and could cost thousands to fix. It's highly likely that she was deliberately abandoned because of those costs. Now those costs fall on the charity this month, they're bracing themselves for £30,000 in vet fees, and a lot of that is a result of dogs bred for their looks instead of their health. The money that a dog could go for during lockdown doubled literally overnight because of the demand. So then you did see people that weren't breeding or um, good health or good behaviour, they were literally just breeding for profit. And then when buyers were then taking those dogs on, they were already almost on the back foot. That dog is not set up for success. These wire-haired Vizslers, Mango and Peach were brought in with multiple tumours by a breeder who couldn't cope with mounting vet fees. Now they and hundreds of cross whales face a long road to recovery before they can be found a new home. Jenna Breathe Carer, ITV News in Ponticlean.